you're doing this new consolidating thing if you've been watching my video of how to create a music server this video is going to be like an extension to that process so in this video i'm going to show you how you can fix those tracks that just have a track name instead of the real name and get the real artist name and get the real album art to go with that track Okay, so when you're trying to add music from an outside source, like your CD or anywhere else that you have music, nine times out of 10, it's gonna come up and say just track. It'll say track one, track two, track this, track that. But it won't have the actual name, artist, or the album art. So I've been using this software called Tidy My Music. And that's what I've been using to clean up that process. This software to me works about 95% of the time. So it's not 100%. But it cuts down on the time that you spend trying to type in all those track names and artists and then add in the album art. So this will work perfect if you're trying to build that music server where you can have all the name of the songs and the artist name and the album art already included. So let's switch to the app. Okay, so here's the app that I'm talking about. It's called Tidy My Music. Now to the right, I have my folder right here with a bunch of songs that looks like they're already completed and everything is great. But if I try to preview them up top, you'll see it says track. It has the artist name and the album but it only says track. And that's kind of strange because the name is right here. So for me to fix that, I'd have to open it up in another program and put in the track name and save it again and all that stuff. But this tidy my music, all I have to do is drag it over here. It's still gonna come up and say track and I can go down here and say identify. So now as you can see, it comes up with the correct title name. So it says, when you call me, the album art is popping up here on the right. But if the album art is not popping up or it's the wrong album art, then you can go over and drag in the image over here. You just click on the right side of the image and it says drag artwork here. Since it's already there, then I don't have to do all that process. So the next thing I have to do right now is just click apply. And then it's going to fix that. And if I go over here now and click on that song, as you can see, the name is there, the album art and all is well. So I can do this for the rest of the songs that's available here. So to speed things up, I'm gonna select all of those songs and then drag them over. So now that you got all the tracks over here, I would do it one at a time. Identify and then fix. That auto fix doesn't work that well. Sometimes it put in some weird stuff that doesn't belong to the track. Okay, so since we have this one already highlighted, we're gonna click identify. So as you can see, the song name appeared. It's still the same artist, same album. And this little exclamation mark over here is letting you know that it's not applied yet. So let's click apply. And as you can see, it also put in the lyrics to that song. Now, sometimes the lyrics is not the right lyrics. So you have to be careful with these lyrics because sometimes it's not the right one. If you wanna do additional editing here, because sometimes I have to, you click this little icon right here with the square and pencil. And for instance, I like to take out the lyrics because I just don't trust that it's the right lyrics. So now if I come over here and I preview it again, you can see that everything is fixed. So basically you're doing the same thing for all of these tracks. You wanna click identify. And if the album art is not matching up, I already have my album art so here. So I'm gonna drag this one in to get the right one. And then I'll click apply. Then I wanna do this, get rid of that. The album name is not matching up, so I'm gonna change that to Hidden Gems. And then I'm gonna click Apply. I'm not sure what's the track number. I'd have to look it up online, but I'm not gonna worry about it for now. And then I'm gonna go down to the next one. As you can see, that one is not matching up. So the name and the album is okay, but the track and everything else is just not right. So with that one, I would ignore. And this is what I'm talking about, that 95% of the time it works well and sometimes it doesn't. See, that one is not matching up either. This is the original information and now it's putting another set of information in there. So ignore. Okay, so there you go. Out of all of those tracks that I had over here, I think I got about 14. It has one, two, three, four that it didn't find accurately. But other than that, you know, we can fix these right here and then add the necessary data in there. You'd have to do it manually. Okay, so there you have it. So that's how you fix those tags that have a little bit of issue 
you know, if they're coming up with that track, but not the actual track name, just go ahead and get that title by music because it's gonna cut down about 95% of your work as trying to fix those tracks. And you can easily go in there and edit the file. So if you need to change the track name or the artist name or add the correct album art, then you can do that. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. This is like an extension to the music server videos that I did where you can fix those tracks to make it easier for you to apply them to your server so they show up right on your Plex server and your Plex app. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more helpful videos like this by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a good one.